All right, so let's go ahead and cover simple linear regression 101. Okay, so as I mentioned in the previous lesson, is that in simple linear regression, we wanted to predict the value of one variable y based on another variable x. And simply, we call x the independent variable, and we call y the dependent variable. So the question is, why do we call it simple? And why do we call it linear too? So why does it call simple linear regression? Let's go ahead and cover that. So we call it simple because it's examined the relationship between two variables only. All I have is I have variable X and I have variable Y, and that's all what I'm trying to do, is I'm trying to establish a relationship between the independent variable X and the dependent variable Y. That's all it is. And in the next couple of lessons, we are going to learn about multiple linear regression. That's when we have more than one variable that we're trying to relate essentially together. So the next question is, why do we call it linear? Well, we call it linear because when the independent variable increases or decreases, you will notice that the dependent variable increases or decreases in a linear fashion. And that's why we call it simple and that's why we call it linear. And that's where the term simple linear regression comes into play. Okay, so let's go ahead and review what we have covered in the previous lecture. In the previous lecture, we covered that we are going to assume that you are a business owner and you own an ice cream business, let's say, and you wanted to establish a relationship between the outside air temperature and your revenue. And we noticed that there is a relationship between the two somehow. So you collected that table, essentially all that data you collected, and then you wanted to plot it here on the X and Y. So on the X axis, we put the temperature, and on the Y axis, we put the revenue. And then you plotted here all these different data points. And as I mentioned before, is our objective is to try to come up with that straight line that best fit our data points. So let's dig a little bit deeper and cover the math behind this straight line. Okay. So when I say that I wanted to obtain a simple linear regression model, essentially all what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find is a straight line equation. And this is simply my straight line equation. If you guys recall from any math or statistics course that you took in the past, is that you can represent an equation of this straight line here by the following. You can say y equals to b plus m times x. And x, as I mentioned, is our independent variable and that, in our example here, is going to be my temperature in degree C. And my dependent variable is going to be my revenue, and that's going to be in dollars. So essentially, as you change X, okay, as you change the temperature, you will notice that Y changes accordingly. And the question is, how can we relate the two? How can we find the rate of change between X and Y, and also what we call it the Y-intercept as well? And that's where the two key parameters comes into play. Here we have the variable m, and also we have the variable b. And these are the two parameters that I'm trying to model, or I'm trying to optimize. I'm trying to find the best values for m and b that can relate x with y. So m is what we call it the slope of the line. So here, m is simply delta y divided by delta x. Okay, so if you have a straight line that looks like that, for example, right, as you change x somehow, there's an effect on y, right? However, if you change that line and you increase the slope, you make it a little bit higher here like that, then the change in temperature will have a different impact on the revenue. And that's the idea here. We try to find the slope of the line. What is going to be the best slope of the line that can model the change between the temperature and revenue? And that's what we call it M. And the other parameter as well that we need to capture here within my model is the y-intercept, and that's the value b here. If that straight line can go through the origin, which is the zero and zero point here, then b value will be equals to zero. However, if that straight line here passes through or kind of intercept the y-axis, maybe here at value 10 or value five, that's gonna be the value of b. 
okay? So B is going to be my y-intercept, and M is going to be the slope of the line. How, how, how that line is going to be is going to be like um, parallel to the x-axis, or maybe a little bit at 45 degree angle, or it's going to be maybe um, um, parallel to the y-axis, okay? All right, so the question is, okay, like, what's the point? Like, what am I going to do with that straight line? Well, let's go ahead and assume that now you have a simple linear regression model. Now I have that straight line. And now I want it to come, let's say, in two weeks, for example, from today as a business owner. And I went outside and it was really hot day, maybe in July uh, time frame. And then I went out and then I measured the temperature. And the temperature in this example was 40 degrees C. Let me actually shift a little bit here. So now I have 40 degrees C, right? And now I can go ahead, I can go to my straight line here, right? Hit that line because now I know what's M and B look like. So now I have a fixed line right now. And then I can go ahead and essentially get the dollar value associated with it. And that would be my prediction, revenue, or Y value. And that's gonna be $840 here in this example. Okay, all right. So, as I mentioned, let's recap. The goal of our simple linear regression model is to try to find the optimal values for M and B. And once you have that trained model, then you can use it later on to predict any revenues in dollars based on the outside air temperature. So now you can get a Y value based on the measured X value, which is my temperature value. Okay, all right. So that's it. That's simply all I have for this lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the next lesson, let's go ahead and learn about least sum of squares. Please stay tuned. Best of luck, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.